With big Navi Vitality G2 complexity and the new look Astralis all in attendance, the community was spoilt for choice over the likely winners coming into Cologne. None of these teams, however, would emerge with the title. Few would have chosen Heroic to exceed the group stages, let alone make a deep playoff run. Yet the Danes shocked everyone, particularly in the grand final where they dispatched of the favourites in Vitality 3-0. During this video, we're going to delve into the play of Heroic on the first and third map of the Cologne Grand Final in Mirage and Nuke to see which factors led to their heroic triumph. So before we get into the gameplay, I feel obliged to discuss the coaching exploit and ban news which emerged shortly after Heroic's Cologne win. Now these bans were certainly justified and inevitably with Heroic's coach in Hunden being suspended from most competitions for 12 months having abused the bug during Dreamhack Masters Spring, many will put an asterisk against Heroic's win in Cologne. Since then, we have also been informed that Cologne was safe from the coaching bug exploit, presumably by running an earlier build of the game, and consequently, we cannot take anything away from the great Counter-Strike played by the Danes during their title winning run. Diverting our attention back to the games in question, coming into this first buy round and bonus round for the CT side, Heroic have a very useful piece of information. So whilst ecoing on the previous round, they got no kills, meaning there was unlikely to be a CT orb in play. Now with this info, Heroic are going to contact in for mid control, just as the CTs are leaning back towards the site, expecting an execute. So Acadian, we can see in peak connector, then work his way out holding right side window into posting up on ladder. Next up, Bar up here in underpass, going to molly out right side window to try and flush anyone out into the open and takes a little bit of damage from Zaiwu and his FAMAS before falling back into this more passive angle. So from here, Heroic will be going for a B split and training his crosshair on that window repeak. Bar up will slowly work his way up and then he'll smoke top connector just like so, before quickly checking the ladder room vent. Now, Cadian also smoked window, and now the split starts to come in. Sitting back, Borup flashes his teammates around short and moves up catwalk. And notice how Borup is very aware that a CT may want to push through the top connector smoke to try and cut off their B split. Now, coming onto the site as Tezez goes down and Borup gets partially whited, let's pause and look at the positioning of the CTs. Now earlier on, RPK found one kill in apps and just flashed out of the window. So Heroic certainly know he's in there somewhere and Shox just killed Tezez from empty corner, which would have been communicated back to the rest of the team. Now as we unpause, watch how Borup is hugging the wall and taking the fight with Shox while shielding himself from apps. And after finding the kill onto Shox, he quickly pivots around into aiming apps and picks up another frag. After finding these kills, Borup does not want to get overly aggressive, so he sits back towards short before swinging out off the contact of his teammates and claiming his third kill. As on this round, we saw some great fundamental play from Heroic with a great call to contact in for mid control, plus Borup playing smart and isolating some great fights during the site take and following after plant. Let's take a quick look at an aggressive mid opening from Heroic. Watching with Tezez, he has a great spawn for mid, and he's going to make use of it by hugging the wall to dodge flashes and aggressively swinging out into catching Zaiwu in the open with his pants down, putting Heroic into a man advantage. So to the untrained observer, that may have just looked like your standard matchmaking or pug wide swing out mid, but Heroic had some great utility and spacing to give Tezez a much better chance of pulling off the play. Around Tezez, Heroic threw two flashes, one for window and one behind the top boxes from Cadian, just to catch anyone in the open, plus a window smoke which will bloom just after Tezez gets out mid to stop anyone reswinging window onto him or Cadian. So to throw those nades, the window smoke is just a standard one, get yourself in the corner by the bin, bottom right of the cross hold D and jump throw for the early window flash, get yourself up and onto the platform, come anywhere near this uh, wooden pillar on your left, 
bottom left of the support here, and then a running jump throw. And then for Cadian's Flash, top right of the window just here. And as you cross the first step here, you need to release the Flash, something like this. And then Cadian also maintained good spacing to Tezes to increase the chances of finding a trade frag should Tezes go down. Watching with Nico. In this one, we're going to see a fairly standard free smokes exec onto the A bomb site. Now, Tezes smoked top mid early to deny some information, and Nico comes into Palace and holds the early swing for the CTs. And then from here, Nico will line up this Molly for under balcony. Now, throwing the Molly, he'll on face for a moment just in case a CT swung out then clears sandwich and holds the push through of the jungle smoke. Now already thinking about the afterplant, Nico chooses to stay in palace for lining up and throwing this smoke the top connector and then flashing Borup and Stavin in to take some more advanced control. Now with Borup, he pushes aggressively on the flash in towards this jungle area and then moves into this more aggressive close corner. And in a moment, he'll aggressively swing out and very much surprise Zai Wu, as you can see, and then picks up a second of the shocks for good measure. Now, what we just saw from Heroic was a really great additional layer to a standard A execute, helping the Danes to claim more map control and giving themselves a much better chance going into the afterplant. Jumping back, let's look at the nades thrown by Cadian. So, firstly, we have a standard stairs smoke. And then he flashes deep like this to catch an orb towards the ticket area and then throws a second flash over palace to give nico a hand now it's important when executing in a situation like this to flash as soon as possible to allow your entries to get out and make space before reactive nades can come in now as heroic go into the second layer of their exec nico smokes connector and cadian molly's deep jungle towards window just like this before playing around the bricks and posting up on ct for the afterplant where Heroic will come out on top. Watching on board with Stavin, on this pistol round, we're going to see some really great utility usage in a retake scenario. Now, Heroic only had Cadian towards A with their pistol setup, and unfortunately, he went down. But coming into this retake in a man disadvantage, notice that three Heroic players are retaking together from CT spawn. Now, as they group up, Stavin flashes for his teammates to swing out. And next up, Stavin decides to double nade Firebox with his teammate and ruins the day of shocks. Stavin now smokes the bomb, which also cuts up loads of angles across the site. And as they flood in from CT, Stavin plays around triple as his opponents fall in quick succession. As Borup sticks the bomb, this round culminates in a complete mess as Stavin finishes off RPK with his knife and just about secures the pistol round or heroic. Watching that retake again with Borup, we can see how Stavin's great utility usage gave them a much better chance from making their way up and through CT and onto the bomb site. Also, uh, smoking the bomb into defusing on pistol rounds is always strong and very difficult for the terrorist side to uh, deal with. Switching up the scenery over here on Nuke, Simplicity regularly reigns supreme, and here from Heroic, we're going to see a simple split onto the A site with free wrapping in from Mini. Now, board of Nico, we can see him smoke close and swing behind this blue box for a quick look before pushing through his smoke and close to the wall of Mini. Meanwhile, the other two cross smokes are landing, and Nico can hear Zyru spamming, and he seizes the moment to swing out for the pick. Accelerating into the split, Nico picks up another frag on Tetris, and although Nico goes down, Stavin is here for the trade, and he picks the perfect time to turn around and hold vent, silencing Apex and leaving shocks in an impossible scenario. So on this round, Heroic threw the standard cross smokes to fake out a fast play on Secret and potentially force some rotates away from the A site, and here are the lineups for those smokes. The cross smoke closer to red come into this dot aim between the windows and jump throw for the cross smoke closer to secrets come into this red light where the wires meet the wall and jump throw and for the close smoke here is alexi b's lineup run along the shadow aim to the top of this pole here and then release it fairly late this will leave a gap on the left side you can easily clear and it won't leave any gaps on the right side which you might have otherwise and make sure you comment below with thanks mr alexi b if you want to use his smoke lineup. At the professional level, ramp rushes are not overly common, and Heroic have decided now is the time to throw a spanner in the works. 
So I'm bored with Borup and his trusty P90 is going to bounce one flash off the wall and fly through the ramp smoke before getting the entry onto shocks. Behind the frag, Heroic commits down ramp before running straight into Zaiwu and deciding to alter their plan. So the new call from Heroic will be to split A from Heaven and Lobby. And as we can see, they're going to flash here into Hell and clear it out. Next up, Cadian will make his way up the ladder and into Heaven. So during this split, Cadian is going to be the solo player in Heaven, whilst his remaining teammates come in through Squeaky. And as we can see, Cadian just peeking around towards Outer. And what he'll do in a moment is throw a smoke on to the bucket outside of Heaven just here. So this smoke is becoming increasingly common at the pro level, particularly in retakes, and it allows players coming in from Heaven to one way over the smoke and take some advantageous fights. As Heroic Crunch onto the site, Cadian swings out and drops Masuta, leaving Zaiwu in a 1 versus 3 with no chance of pulling off the retake. Rewinding back to the start of the round, I just wanted to show you guys some nades from Cadian. As we can see, he nades off the door and mollies the vent, and this molly cuts off the vent rotate for the CT side and is a much better use of a player than just having an extra person coming through the ramp smoke on the rush itself. As the outer rifler slash mini player on nuke, how could you throw your opponents a curveball and really catch them off guard? Watching with Nico, he nades outer and then plays in towards mini early. Now hearing nothing outer, Nico is going to push up into this aggressive position underneath the silo. Now in this close position, Nico can hear everything that Vitality are doing and hearing the outer smokes making their way over, he comes to his teammates to double nade and they do some great damage and kill shocks. Now these nades also fully bait in Nico and he finds a massive pair of frags onto some unsuspecting players. With Heroic now in a four versus two, it would take some huge mistakes for Heroic to lose the round and sure enough, they will close it out. Proactive calls, individual brilliance and great team play were all in abundance during Heroic's title run. Yet for many, Hunden's coaching ban is taking centre stage across the community. And I hope this look into the play of the Danish squad can help you guys understand why their title in Cologne was very much deserved. And hopefully they can maintain this high level of play moving forward to bring the players themselves out of the shadow cast by the coaching news and back into the spotlight they've earned from showing consistently great play during their title winning run in Cologne. Anyways, that is everything for this video. Social medias are linked below. Comment below with your thoughts on Heroic or what you want to see in upcoming content. Thanks for everyone for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.